Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Shiggy YouTube here, and in today's video, this is episode 2 of the Cruisers How To series, and we're going to be talking about specifically Agile Cruisers, some of the harder Cruisers to play in the game. You see me make some decisions throughout the battle, and I'm going to be talking about them. Specifically because I'm an Agile Cruiser, I'm not, you know, going to be camping with my Atlanta and trying to burn everything down. I'm going to be trying to take the salvo and doing what I can. Okay, so very first thing, shot came in at me, I turned in towards it, and also tried to avoid the Seroth. But I didn't get the kill. I mean, I didn't get to avoid everything. So very first thing, what am I shooting at? <coughs> I am shooting at the tall end. For one, it's the only thing I can shoot at. But even if it wasn't, I would be shooting at it. Why? Because it has radar. And it's already burned its radar. But I'm trying to back him up even further. So that he is very ineffective when it comes to battling my destroyer. You see my destroyer is taking all kinds of heat. I can't push him to the point, but the Mitchell can. But I can keep fire down range trying to keep them backing up. So I'm... I know that Sasha is over on the other objective just cause the bug got spotted how quickly it got captured stuff like that. Okay this Gnards and now it's gonna be. I see A's being captured there's a aircraft carrier and a destroyer on it so I don't need to stay over here but I'm not gonna completely abandon it. I'm going to try to lob shots at Talon, make him back himself up, but I'm going to try to make sure B cannot be captured. Why? Because that's detrimental to our team. Right now, we're pretty much even, not quite even, but you see me shoot at that short horse. Why? Because I'm trying to break a torpedo tube. I don't expect much out of him, but I'm trying to at least get something off of him. So, he will rethink sitting there. Then the Gnaz and how I start pushing out. So, I'm like, okay, you need to go. Right now, we're in the lead. But it won't stay like that if they capture B. So I'm trying to back him off of B. Because he can capture B if I'm sitting there shooting at him. I see that Asachio over there. 13 kilometers. I cannot hit him. Plus I see a lot of shots going in there. So I'm like, okay, I don't need to shoot at him. That can not know how it needs to be reset. So I turned my attention back to him and it worked by the way. Now he's turning around trying to go capture A, but you will see later why that doesn't work. Shell's falling short, gotta love it. So all I'm doing right now I don't expect to kill him or nothing but Trying to make him ineffective. And then I look at the map. Start realizing I'm getting pretty far up there. Nothing can hit me right now anyway. So I need to turn back in. Because I'm getting really far away from where I want to be. So I need to turn back in. And I start pinging the objective. Like okay that's where I'm going. It would be really nice to have some support. Look over the Ganaz and now it's going toward Omitsu. 
so. I'm like, okay, let's try to help the Mitsu out. You know, he kills the Talon, which is big, because the Talon, I can't really avoid him. I can't avoid this Gnazenhauer, but not really the Talon. But, it's okay, because now, I'm just trying to brace up this Gnaz and how I, it's extremely hard to hit him at this kind of range, but I'm trying to get the reset no matter what. But here's the thing, I could sit behind this island for forever and just lob a G shells. But that's not how you win a match. At all. You gotta push in. And you got to be able to capture some objectives. I'm still trying to lob the Gnaz and how something's aiming at me. That's why I zoomed out. Okay, something on my left. So... That's where I figured it was going to be coming from, but I turned just in case, which made me avoid most of the shots. Okay, so now I'm pushing back in, can't hit the good and how it says, but, you know, I'm still going to try, because, yeah, he, he can't capture my objective. At least until I get this one captured. Okay, I look at the map, say the Miyoko. So I'm like, okay, he's a bigger threat than the Gnazenawa. Because if we capture B and um, C, then we will win this match. Because we get two, they get one. That's always your objective to think about is what will win us this match. Okay, we were behind on ships, but now we're tied again. Okay, I say this, Gnaz and Hour, I'm like, oh no. He's probably about to race at me and let me race at him. He didn't, thankfully. So I turn in, take one of his shells, but not much. The aircraft carrier on our team is actually sitting there messing him up. That's really a good thing for me. So the Sean Horse comes out. And right here, I believe I'm dead. I really do. Because I know I can't turn or get my ship in reverse fast enough. So I launched us there, knowing the carrier is above me, to try to get that Sean Horse to stop his ship and not push that corner. He did it anyways. Not what I wanted to happen, but that's what it did. So at this point, I really don't think I'm making it out of this, but I'm I'm trying like hell. You know, bobbing my ship back and forth. We got two points to their one. Well, they don't even have one. Because I keep resetting the Sean Horse. But it's important that that um, point keeps going up. Why is that? Because the Pobeda is on the point. I know that. But if you weren't looking at the map, then right there, that'll tell you. I'm aiming for a superstructure. Why is that? Because my guns do not overmatch his ship, obviously. So I'm trying to get 
some superstructure damage. Okay, that was our first kill, but our first guy. So that obviously means I've been doing something in this match, considering I'm still alive with all them ships that shot at me <laughs> in the fucking clear sky. <laughs> that should tell you something. So right now, I'm far enough away that, you know, if I was able to, you know, actually just sit there and time the shots and stuff like that, then I would probably be doing a whole lot more damage. But, you know, I'm sitting here trying to avoid the shots at the same time. So I swapped over to AP. Why? For two reasons. For one, I'm trying to find money. For two, it's complete broadside and on fire. You know, I'm not getting the damage I think I should be getting, but I'm still getting damage. So, you know, I'm... <laughs> that's all that's needed. So anyways, I hope this got this helped you guys a little bit about how to hold a flank when all the odds are kind of stacked against you if you if this video did help give it a big thumbs up and if you have been already please subscribe take care of a wonderful wonderful day peace